In this video, you'll learn how to configure panels for your group layout. In order to do that, we need to install panels, which can be found at drupal.org slash project slash panels. Once you have panels installed, we're going to enable two modules. First is page manager, and the second is the panels module. All right, to configure panels, we're gonna to go to structure, pages, and we're going to enable the node template and then edit it. Now we need to create a new variant. We'll call this group layout and I'll select both selection rules and contexts and create variant. And the, for this we're going to select aug node as a group and add that. This just says that uh, make sure that the node you're view currently viewing is a group that enable this panel. So we'll go ahead and continue. And under relationships, I'm going to get the aug group from node and finish. And now we'll continue. Now you need to select your layout. You can choose one of the one, two, or three column layouts that come with panels, but I'm actually going to use the builder uh, and the flexible builder. So I'll just hit continue. And I'm going to disable the Drupal blocks and regions. What this does is it gets rid of the sidebars that you might have. Um, if you want to keep your sidebars as well as using this, then you do not want to check this box. But personally, I just want to get rid of everything on the page except for what's in my panel. So I'm going to enable that and continue. Now I'm actually going to set the title to no title. And what this does is it just removes the title from the top of the panel when someone views it. And after that, I'll hit create variant. All right, now before I lay out the panel, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add all the content now. So in the center region, I'll click the gear and choose add content. First thing I'm gonna do is add the group description or the group body field. So that's under node, body, and I'll continue and finish. Next, I'm going to add the organic groups content create links. These are under organic groups, og content create links. Next, I'm gonna add all the group content. To do that, we'll go to view panes and og nodes. This will be all of the articles that are posted to the group. And next, I'm going to add the view og members. That's under view panes, og members. This is, all, this is that list that we set up earlier of all the recent members. Now I'm going to add the link so that users can subscribe to the group. And that's under node field group type. And make sure you change this formatter to group subscription. And I'm actually going to override this title and call it group membership. And you'll see why in just a bit. And now I'll continue. And that's it. Now let's lay out the panel. I'll make a two column panel with a right column being 220 pixels wide and a region on top for the group description. So we'll click show layout designer. And the first thing I'm going to do is add that right column. So on row, we'll say add region to right. Just call it the right region. And I'm going to make this fixed. This is because I typically build with fixed width layouts. If you build with fluid or elastic or liquid, whatever you call it, layouts, then uh, you can stick to fluid and use percentages. But since I build with, uh, with fixed width layouts, I'm gonna go ahead and choose fixed and save that. And now I'm going to set it to 220 pixels wide. Don't worry if it doesn't look right right now because um, it's just a bug with panels right now, but I promise it will look right once it's done. Now we're going to add a row on the top, so I'll click column, add row to top. This will be for the group description. We'll have it contain regions, and now select row, add region. Just call this a top region. And I'm going to leave this fluid because I do want it to go ahead and just fill the width. Now if we update and save, we can move everything to the right places. In the top region we'll have the node body, this will be that group description. In the right side, we will have the og content create links. We'll put the og members over there. 
and also the, the group subscription link. So now I'll just update and save. And we're done. If we go ahead and go home and select group number one, we can see that we've got our group description at the top, our articles in the left side, we've got our content create links on the right, group members on the right, and our group membership block on the right.